Oh, that's that. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Got, it. got him, got him. That was crazy. All right, hold on. Let me... kind of got to like park the kayak. Well, this is one of the super rare turtles that lives here in this river. This is a Pearl River map turtle. Today, we're back on our favorite little river system and hoping to come across some of the rare turtle species that live here. We've already seen some of the incredible things that call this river home, but I think today is going to be the day that we track down one of these turtles. Alright, here we go. We got a little racer snake right here. Ah, I got my finger. That's fine. Oh, he's going underwater. That's interesting. Have a look at this little dude. That's interesting. Normally racer snakes like to sit right on top of the water, but he dove. Oh, look at that mouth. He's ready to bite. This is a black racer snake. Very common snake to find. Whoa! Very bitey, as you can see. Look at that mouth. My goodness. Crazy little snake. Look at that. Okay. All right. It's all right, little dude. Now, this is a colubrid, meaning they don't constrict their prey. They grab it and just yank it. They'll pretty much eat anything. They could eat fish, frogs, Lizards, little mice. And I tell you, he's looking at me to bite me. Now this would be a medium to small size one. They can get quite a bit larger than this one. Now this one has a black belly. In some areas you'll find them. They'll have a whitish belly and a white chin. But this one's got a lot of black on him and just a little bit of white on his chin. Very aggressive snake for the most part. They're not going to come at you or anything like that. But the second you pick them up, be ready for them to bite. He got a little nip right on my finger there. Look at that. He does this little wah, whack little thing very cool snake to find. They're always, you know, this is a super common snake, but uh, I still like finding them. All right, see you little dude. Here you go. The conditions are perfect for spotting things in the water today. Visibility changes quite often here, and so does where the turtles are. While continuing upstream, we finally spotted one of the turtles that we were looking for. Oh, well, that's her. There you go, there you go. There you go. Got him, got him. That was crazy. Alright, hold on. Let me just kind of like park the kayak. Well, this is one of the super rare turtles that lives here in this river. This is a Pearl River map turtle. That's a huge one. This is a huge female. Only the females get this big. Now another reason I can tell that this is a female is the males will have very long claws. And as you can see, it's okay, sweetie. They have little short, little bear looking claws. They're really tough, strong claws. Oh, that's okay, sweetie. And they've got a little short tail. The males will have a big long tail and long fingernails, whereas the females will have those short, kind of tough digging claws, mostly for nest building. The males don't have to dig a nest, and that's why they have the long claws. Ah, she's clawing me. So the males don't have to dig, but the females do. So when they come up on land, uh, she would have already laid her eggs for the year. They lay them kind of mid to early summertime. So she would have dug a big nest, laid her eggs, buried it, and then left it alone. And that's why the females have tougher claws, so they can dig those nests. And uh, really, that's an easy way to identify if it's a female or not for other turtle species as well, is the shorter tail and the short claws. Because that applies to many other sliders, map turtles, and uh, all kinds of different little turtles that we have here in North America. Look at how big her head is. Kind of reminds me of the loggerhead musk turtle that we found in this river system. Huge, huge head. And you wouldn't want to take a bite off of this turtle. Look at that. She's very relaxed now. Not trying to bite me anymore. And she's like, okay, put me down. Put me back in my little river system. Wow, guys, that is a very rare turtle species. Look at that mouth. That thing can really tear you up. Almost like a little snapping turtle. Now the reason I can tell that this is a Pearl River map turtle is if you look at that face, it's got a nose like a soft shell and these huge jaw bones. Look right there. Very similar to a snapping turtle in kind of appearance of mouth and the biting power. This thing has really strong jaws. Now the special thing about Pearl River map turtles is they only live in this little tiny area of river system here kind of in between Mississippi and Louisiana. Really this area is so so specific on where to find a Pearl River map turtle. It's, it's really crazy. Like this is one of the very few places you can see them. And I thought I saw one earlier and I was looking around and I could not find it. But this is the first one that I've ever caught. 
Now this would be an adult female. They would get a bump bigger than this, but this would be considered a large female. And uh, the females do get considerably larger than the males. Now Pearl River map turtles are one of a few species that only live in the Pearl River river system. Now we've got the ring sawback turtle, that's another rare species. The Ochita map turtle, which lives in a couple other areas, but really the Pearl River area is the best place to find them. And this, the Pearl River map turtle, is just one of those special turtle species that lives in this very specific river system. So you're not going to find them anywhere else, which is crazy. Now one thing that they're going to be doing along here is digging up clams. See this river is full of these freshwater clams and a lot of the turtles here, the loggerhead musk turtles, the map turtles, I would have to wonder if the snapping turtles eat them, but they've got these big freshwater clams and what they'll do with those claws is they'll dig all through the sand, find them and crunch them up. They eat clams all day long. Check that out. Look at that. Look. Hello. Hello sweetie. That is a cool turtle right there. Now they're not sure if this is an endangered species or not because they're just so specific and rare and it's not something you're going to see in the pet trade too much. Very cool little turtle. I'm glad we got to see her. I mean, she was booking it right down the river, and uh, she almost got away from me in those sticks if I hadn't spotted her a second time. But uh, these turtles, you got to be careful grabbing a turtle like this, because this thing could really tear you up. I mean, look at that mouth. Serious, serious mouth. Now, you're going to find them in these little tiny river systems, mostly kind of cruising along like what we just saw. Sometimes you'll see them out basking in the morning and kind of in the evening times, but most likely you're going to see them kind of digging down, looking for all kinds of stuff in the sand, like clams and little crustaceans and stuff like that. That's their favorite thing to eat. They will eat fish, but they're more of a crustacean-based uh, turtle. They're going to be digging up more uh, shrimp and crawfish, prawns, and uh, any of that kind of stuff. Now, one thing you saw when I first picked her up is this. Hang on, let me see this. Look at that. Kind of looks like plastic, doesn't it? That's actually the uh, the scales on the turtle shell, the scoots, shedding off. And you can see it even picks up the algae. So every time they shed their little scoots, they're going to have a fresh, clean shell. So you'll find them with algae on them. So as you can see on the front of her, it hasn't finished shedding yet. So uh, she was probably fully covered in algae before she started molting. And now you can see her shell is nice and clean, no algae on it, and that's why. It's because she's shedding right now, and there's not going to be a lot of algae on her because of that. Now let's take a look at the plastron here. The plastron is the bottom of the turtle, and if you look at this, very smooth. And I'd have to guess that's from living on this river with all this sand and rock. It's going to be very smooth, and no patterns on it. That's going to be different from your river cooters and your red ears that live here. And then if we look at the carapace of the turtle, there's not too much to it. You know, it's kind of a torn, a little bit torn up. As you can see, it's probably an old turtle, but it's not a lot of color to it. But if you see the base, you can see all these little yellow and green bandings that would have gone all over this turtle. But since it's an older turtle, I would have to guess that all that's kind of gotten worn off of it over time. But uh, some of the younger ones have this gorgeous yellow and green coloration. But this would be an older one, so uh, she doesn't have any of that. Well, this is definitely a turtle you're not going to really see anywhere else. So I'm really glad we got to show you this because it's just... It's not something you're really going to see a lot of, and a lot of people don't know about this species of turtle. It's very, very remote area that's kind of like closed off little river systems, kind of in the middle of nowhere. So uh, it's really cool we got to show you this turtle. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, here she goes. Come here, sweetie. Back in the river. I'm not a good pirate. Oh wait, maybe I am a good pirate. Maybe he is a good pirate and he just didn't know it. Oh, what's this? What's this, mate? Oh, he's got to be the best pirate he's ever seen, mate. I'm the best pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> That's because you're not the best pirate.